And an update this morning on another major story about bullying and sexual misconduct that we have been covering for some time. A class action lawsuit against the RCMP has received many more claims than expected, triple the number in fact. And now the force is going cap in hand to the federal government for money to pay the bill. Catherine Tunney has the exclusive details. We hurt you. For that, I'm truly sorry. When the RCMP first apologized to women who went through sexual harassment and abuse with inside the force, they put aside $100 million as part of a settlement deal. That was two years ago, back when they thought about 1,000 claims would be submitted. Turns out more than three times that actually poured in. So RCMP Commissioner Brenda Lucky has written to the federal government flagging the need for more money. And we found that out in a briefing note that she sent to Public Safety Minister Ralph Goodale. So why couldn't they get the number right? Why is it off by about threefold? Well, it turns out in this briefing note, the RCMP points to the Me Too movement as a possible explanation that maybe more women, as they were reading the headlines, felt more comfortable and supported enough to come forward and tell their story. Some of them are just awful. Now, more claims means more compensation, but it's unclear exactly how much more money the RCMP is actually asking for. We went to them, we asked for a, a total, and they said they weren't comfortable giving that out just yet. Now, the increase is also putting a lot of pressure on the assessor's office. They're the ones that go through all the claims and decide who gets what. Every victim is eligible for a payout, and it ranges between $10,000 and $220,000. It depends on what happened to them. Now, the, that office has hired more help to go through all the claims that they've received, but out of the, out of the more than 3,000 claims it's received, it's only gone through about a quarter of them. Catherine Tunney, CBC News, Ottawa.